Welcome back to Valar. We have the Monster Crunch Breakfast Battle Game. Ages nine and up, two to five players. You got Count Chocula, Frankenberry, Piggy's Yummy Mummy, the Werewolf, the Blue Guy. I knew him as a kid. These two were the mains, and uh, I think then him. So it's the battle game, the serial battle game. It's probably just a much a numbers game. It's not too bad though. Components are decent. Take it to play it once. Um, you get some power cards for your character. Let's see, Count Chocula. So I use so Boo Berry, yeah, I knew that name. All right, so look at check out the Count Chocula deck because he is my favorite, and I used to eat Count Chocula way too much as a kid. So you'll have these milk tokens to come into play that you do kind of like bidding with. You will have your cereal bowl. I have Count Chocula, so you have the other ones as well, and then your power cards i think it's like a once per game you get to use this um each let's have a two so look here going batty use after playing until the next round player must play equal to or lower than the previous player so we gotta match you and then vampire you can place one card from your scoring pile back in the box and take one milk token so that's what Chocula does, you all do different things. There's this cereal box that you're gonna be putting milk tokens into. And your cards are just gonna be numbers. Look at that. And the back will have your character on it. So they're all the same. Blue has blue. It's nice looking blue. So on and so on. All right, let's put these back. Pretty nice components for what it is. And I'll show you the instructions here. Obviously the game, try to use as much material as possible by pulling cards into your bowl. At the end of three hands, the monster has eaten the most wins. Each player chooses a monster, matching cards, and the power cards. And the cereal bowl, put in front of you, shuffle your cereal cards, keep them face down on the stack. Draw 12 cards from your stack. I make your first hand, don't show your hand to the other player. Take one milk token, place race milk tokens in the center of the play area. Player with the most recently <laughs> who most recently ate a real bowl of cereal goes first. Here's your setup. How to play. Three hands. Take turns playing cards into their bowl. A uh, three player game. Gives you an example here. No. I was reading that once it was on camera. So in case you knew how to play. You know, play one card in your turn. This is the milk token. So passing. Into the hand. Then the next thing is draw 12 new cards. So milk tokens, you know, let's combine cards. Cards played. So played an eight, freaking brave played five. Uh, to add a six, bring the milk token to 11, so on and so on. So you get to add milk to add a higher score. Monster powers are on their card. And you count the cards in the scoring pile, ignoring the values. So the number doesn't matter, I guess. This is how many cards get in your bowl. But that is the Monster Battle Crunch game. It's a fun little game. Well, you know, I don't know if I'd say it's... So it's a, it's a it's a game. I don't know how much fun it was. It's very kind of basic. And like, using your powers is okay. And the, it's really just nostalgia. Nostalgia got me, right? Because it kind of has the chocolate. Kind of chocolate with feel. You have it on your shelf like this. And like I said, I only paid $3.50 for it. Playing it once, I think it was worth it. So, nice components. Game is probably like a C. You know, if I give it like two and a half stars out of five, or like a five out of ten. It's not the greatest thing, it's just kind of eh. So, I don't think it was going to hold your attention more than one or two games. I think that's more of a nostalgia thing. It's cool he made it, I think. Could have done some, something a little more, but played worse. Thanks for watching, Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.